What's up guys, welcome to Ballin' on a Budget Art Edition. To be real though, figure drawing practice can be an expensive hobby or an expensive practice. Even if you just go to workshops around in your area, I've seen them from anywhere as low as seven and up to $200 for uninstructed, sometimes one lesson that you're paying for. Now, if you wanna go into classes, well, that's gonna cost you even more, sometimes anywhere from like five to $700 plus, depending on what school you're seeking to learn figure drawing from. Now, this video is not about how you can avoid art school or avoid instructed figure drawing. In fact, I really suggest that you go for it if that is your passion. But along the way, or maybe you've even finished art school and you just wanna keep your practice up and you don't quite have the resources to go to those expensive workshops yet, there are free resources online that you can use. And these are some of the best ones that I know of. First up, we have characterdesigns.com. Yes, designs with an S, not characterdesign.com. I did mention free, right? Now, speaking of free, it is worth mentioning that a lot of these websites have not been updated in a while, but they're still a great resource with plenty of pictures to use. Now, this one really is kind of important to me because it's something that I used a lot back in my art school days. It's heavy with different resources. It has everything from cosplay, like you can see here, of people in costumes at events, to classical sculptures and statues that you would see at museums, which are great references for learning form, figure, and dramatic lighting, by the way. And it even aims to have some time period costume pieces as well. For those looking for more of like a classical figure drawing, photo pack. Well, they have those as well. And they also have some pretty nice lighting on them. So you can check those out. I will just say as a disclaimer, this is a website that does have not safe for work, nude material, which is very commonplace in figure drawing. So if you're not comfortable with that, you just kind of have to navigate through and make sure you're not going into those sections. A couple ways you can utilize this website is to just grab the picture, save it, or, you know, have it on another screen and slap it into whatever you're drawing on or next to your drawing surface and just go ahead and throw on a timer for yourself. Do a little self-timed figure drawing session or don't, keep the timer off and let yourself explore the figure as you need to. And since you have the picture on this one, you could even use it for other things. Like you could use it to help yourself figure out how to overlay some anatomy. Or maybe just as a good practice to learn how to break the the body down into some simple forms and to look at that directional kind of perspective that the body is facing. And even better yet, you can take it to the next level and you can try draping some clothing over your figure. Try figuring out how the clothes sits on it, what's the weight like, what's happening with all the bending and twisting of the torso, you know, whatever you're gonna throw on your figure, if you're throwing on a dress or a suit, um, all these things, they kind of sit on people differently. So you can kind of cross references with some other references and see if you can start to figure out how to clothe your figures in different poses. Next up, we have quickposes.com. Now really quick, I just wanna say this so I can get this out of the way. All of these websites do, for the most part, have nude options. So if you're not comfortable with that, I mean, you know, you know you're not comfortable with that. I would say if you do plan to go into any field that involves figure drawing or you wanna get better at figure drawing, you're gonna to have to get comfortable with it at some point. So just throwing it out there. Now this website does have a lot of options, but don't let that confuse you. Really the only thing you need from this website is the timed practice section. From here you have all the settings that you need to customize it however you want, from what you're drawing to timing. And then once you're ready, you just hit start. So quick poses is one of my favorites just because once you're in this actual view mode, you can really start to customize things how you want. You have the difference between light and dark modes. You can flip the canvas all around. Um, it's pretty cool and it has a really clear and distinct timer at the bottom at, as well. So this is what it looks like to draw alongside it. So I set these to any figure pose, um, all clothed, don't worry. And I set it to about a minute. So. Generally speaking, this is how you could split your screen. Of course, you could have it on another screen or you could be drawing traditionally. Um, but this is how it looks overall. Now, I like the dark mode because it just kind of contrasts the picture nicely, but it's going to be up to you how you like to do it. 
One thing I will say about this, if you do click that pause button, it will completely black the screen. Um, so you can't just kind of cheat and keep drawing. The other ones don't do that. So if you, if you don't like that feature, well, maybe that's a downside for you here, but it does do something really cool when you finish your session. When your session ends, it gives you this gallery of everything you just drew. So you can actually go back in, pick one of the images that you want to fix up, add more detail. Maybe you just want to characterize it or whatever you want to do. You have that reference to kind of jump off of. You can finish your figure if you didn't get there, and then you can add to it and make a really cool picture. The other ones, as far as I'm aware, don't do that. So to me, that kind of puts this one on top, but that's my preference. Next on the list, we have sketchdaily.net. Now this one I found out about pretty recently, but I really like it because it has a nice variety of images and you can see it's been updated somewhat recently, right? It's not as old as the other ones. I really don't think Quick Poses has been updated for years. And same with the first one, definitely, definitely not since like maybe 2010. Um, but here you have a more, more recent one. And of course you have all the settings and controls that you liked from Quick Poses. So once you click start, you get this screen here. Now I really like this because we're already in dark mode and that is my preference right off the bat. Um, you can click through the images. Again, these are all kind of like just images pulled off of the internet. But one thing I did think that they did, which was kind of a cool, unique step, they added this little info button here, which pops up and gives you some things that you might or might not need. Now, I don't really find this useful. I just thought this was kind of interesting and something I haven't seen on the other ones. It even links directly to the source. So overall, I mean, that's pretty cool. So if we draw alongside it a bit, I have some stuff I'd like to kind of talk about. With this one, there is no clear timer. I'm not cropping it off here. I promise you can check it out. Um, I set it to about a minute, I think. And what happens is once it starts to reach that minute, the picture kind of fades, but it's like super quick and then it transforms to the next picture. So if you're working on something and you know that you need to stop and you want to work on some more detail, you better hit that pause button. Now with this one, when you do hit the pause button, it will keep the image up so you can kind of cheat that way if you need to. Otherwise, I think the variety of images is really cool. Obviously, when you select non-nude, you're gonna get some stuff that is kind of like extremely clothed and it might not be the best for quick figure drawing, but that's just kind of how it is. The only thing I will say is again, once the session is over or you hit stop, you don't have the option to go back to any of these images and add to it. So again, if you want to keep working on it, just make sure you pause it when you need it and then you can save the image from there. Rolling along here, we have lineofaction.com next. Now, I'm not gonna keep spending too much time on this part because they start to blend together and get really similar. From here, you just kind of choose figure drawing or whatever you specifically wanna draw, and then you can go in and set all your settings, nude, not nude, time, how much time, you know, all that good stuff. Once you get to the drawing session, it's a pretty bare bones version of the other ones, and I really don't hate it for that. I actually love it for that. So you got the dark theme, which is perfect. You can turn on and off that bar at the bottom there with the little eyesight thing. And then from there, you just have pause, stop, next picture. Um, you got the timer in the top corner. The pictures do change pretty abruptly here if you're not paying attention. Um, but otherwise, good variety of pictures. Um, I don't really have anything too much to complain about. It's just pretty simple, but you know, it's straightforward, it's standard, I like it. Next we have adorkastock.com. Now this one is pretty bare bones straight from the beginning. You really don't have too many options and I don't fault it for that at all. Now the only thing I will say here though is adorkastock is a stock image um, website, they have a deviant art, right? They make their own images. So this is not gonna be gathering as much variety maybe as the other ones. They do they do pretty good for their pictures, um, but you will see kind of the same figures popping up. So if that's not something you really want, then that's something you can consider. Um, they only have a limited supply of like people that they're photographing here it seems. But again, they do really push through with a nice variety in my opinion. So once you get that drawing session started, it looks like this. You got the nice big timer at the bottom so you can see what's happening. A cool thing with this one is that the timer, once it starts to get towards that ending point, it does make a couple like warning beeps. 
I appreciate that. Maybe that's something that might drive you crazy. I don't know. Maybe give you some anxiety as the end of the drawings coming up. Um, I don't have a dark theme mode here, but that's okay. Um, it really just kind of gives you what you need. Good variety. They're pretty creative with their pictures and it's a good resource. Now, if you thought some of these images looked familiar, well, they might have if you've ever been on DeviantArt, and I see these people all over DeviantArt when I go on. So this is a Dorcas talk on their DeviantArt page, um, and this is where they have all their stock images. Now, they're really cool because they let you use these images in things like YouTube videos, like I make, um, as long as you give them credit, and of course, if you ask um, if, it, if it says so in the description. But overall, I found DeviantArt to be a really great resource for kind of amateur stock photo images and figure drawing images as well. You can find a variety of people making it. I think this one, Null Entity, they actually collaborate with a Dorka stock, or maybe they're the same thing. I'm not quite sure, but you have kind of the same variety of images here. Nice, simple background. And then of course you can find other sources as well. Now I do want to say with DeviantArt, there is no restrictions on nudity and sexual content. So just be careful what you're getting into. You can see I've locked that section over there on the right out. That is the uh oh zone because there was some sexual content there that is suggesting, oh, hey, you're looking at this picture. You might want this. I'm just kind of giving you guys that heads up. But again, there's some really great resources there with people who really put a lot of effort into their images, their costumes, everything. So I'd say check it out. All right, we're starting to get to the end here. Here's the second to last one. This is New Masters Academy on YouTube. I know, who thought you could learn art on YouTube? Um, but anyways, they have a bunch of tutorials, but they also have a figure drawing or life drawing section here where it's time sessions right here. You can see um, it's usually clothed figure. I think it's all clothed figure actually to follow along with YouTube guidelines. Um, but it's one of the only free figure drawing um, sources with actual photos, well-lit photos too, that you can find on YouTube still. And the last free resource I have for you guys is Pinterest. Now I'm sure you guys all know this one, but I just think it's such a great resource, especially because as you pin things that, you know, hit your references or hit your interest, um, on your homepage, you just start getting some really cool stuff. And then you just start pinning all those and you get some more cool stuff. It's been a constant source for me for finding inspiration when I don't have any. If I have art block, I'll go onto my homepage and I'll find like a picture of like a pretty portrait or something and then I draw it and I practice drawing a cartoony or something. And you know, you also have all this great art um, on here as well as inspiration. It's, it's just an overall really cool source. You can't beat it. It's got some cool stuff. It's got some cool images. I mean, what more is there to say? And I couldn't make this video without giving an honorable shout out to Crokey Cafe. Now, Crokey used to be free on Vimeo, but they did recently go to a paid service. Um, but they have the uh, figure drawing software where you can set all your customization. This thing is constantly, constantly updating. I think they post one video a week, so it really is worth it. Um, and it really doesn't cost that much. You guys can see here, it costs $36 for the year. You know, um, you, you just can't really beat that price. So if you do have the budget, I would swing this way. But of course, now you have all those other free resources at your disposal. All right, guys, and that's all the resources I have for this video. Now, don't worry, I'm gonna be pinning all the links below. So if you wanna check them out, and you can't remember the names, you can go ahead and click them down there. But I do wanna hear from you guys. Did I miss some website? Is there some really cool figure drawing um, apps or websites out there that are free that I didn't cover? Um, what are some photo resources that you use? And of course, if you did find this video helpful, please go ahead and share, like, or subscribe, or all of the above. It really does help me out. I hope you guys found some useful information here and it's something that you can utilize moving forward with your art journey. Well, all there is left to say is thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.